all bloody out. Don't worry. We will blend it out. We actually went on a Zoom call with Mark Jacobs and Sarah Tano. We love it, we love it, we love it. Morning! How are we all today? So, I thought I'd film a chatty get ready with me. Every morning I always have a glass of water because I wake up so dehydrated. So, water is key. I'm going to start with my cleanser. Super facialist. Salicylic acid anti-blemish cleanser and it is my favourite so far. Hands down, love it. It's actually empty now so I'm going to show you another one as well but this has been amazing. I switched from Kiehl's to this just because I wanted to try something new. I'm actually on my period this week and I've not broke out at all which is like amazing for me because I usually get so many spots around here and I get it on my chest as well and yeah it's been amazing so I highly recommend this one I love it because it's got vitamin b3 in it and so that salicylic acid it's super like hydrating and gets rid of like congested congestion in your skin which is uh, exactly what I need because I have oily skin so yes oily skin lovers this will be your new best friend. The current one I'm using is the Active Clay Cleanser by Dermalogica. I'll wash my face now actually with it, but this has been great because I've really found that it's like super cleansing on my skin. And anything with like clay, like a clay cleanser, is amazing for my oily skin. So yeah, it's been great that I'm about halfway through it, I think. Um, so I'll let you know how I get on with that one since I've switched from my beloved super facialist. In the morning, I usually do one cleanse and then in the evening I do two. So I'll show you my evening routine as well later. You've seen this on my channel before. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toner and it is my favourite toner and it is super affordable and you get loads in it. So I actually used an old jam jar to keep all these cotton pads in that's the word but I do need some um, reusable ones because I know these aren't great for the environment and I've heard the reusable ones are fab and washable so I need to get some of those but yeah so I literally just get this and put a few drops would help if I undid the bloody lid put a few drops on there and just rub into my skin so this is really good for like closing your pores after you've opened them from your cleanse. So you can use this, it says ideally in the evening, but I do use it in the morning as well. Because I do cleanse to moisturise in the morning and the evening, so oh, there we go. I'm going to start with this Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. So this one is very similar to the Ordinary Buffet. I've just run out of that again, hence why I'm using this one. And this is a new brand that I wanted to try. It says apply one drop in the morning and at night before oils. Let absorb for 30 seconds. So I haven't been letting it absorb for 30 seconds, so I probably should do that. Maybe I should wait 30 seconds. 30 seconds done. Next. My all time favorite. Niacinamide. Gets rid of my pesky bumps on my forehead. Love it. A few drops of this. Which again, I'm running out of. I'm going to have to pour it. It's going to have to be a pouring job, guys. Oh, bloody hell. Right, that's a lot. We're going to go with it. We're going to use it. So I just pop it on my forehead. Mainly because I do get a lot of congestion here. And on the rest of my face as well. It's really good for soaking up, for getting rid of oil, sorry. So great for combination oily skin. Done. Next, hyaluronic acid. Love this stuff. So you can buy this from Good Molecules or The Ordinary, whichever you like. It goes great with the majority of oils and creams that I use. So I usually use this with niacinamide or vitamin C. Um, because it works really well with both. So I put that all over my face and neck. Because this adds a lot of extra moisture into your skin. Okay, my eyes are very puffy in the morning and I get a lot of blood sitting underneath. So I need to tackle the eyes first 
before anything, any makeup goes on. So I've got the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% and this basically gets rid of like any dark circles or puffiness around your eyes. So it's great for me when I wake up and I'm like, oh, I can't see in the morning. So I apply a few drops of this onto my hand, rub it in and just dab outwards underneath and on the top as well. And it's really cooling, I really like this um, solution. But that should get rid of those pesky circles. And then I follow it with a cream as well. So this is one that you'll have seen before if you've watched my other videos. It's the Reviving Eye Cream from o Omara Vixer, which I can never pronounce. Um, so that's going down slowly. I really like this, but I think it's a little bit more on the pricey side. So I have also been using the Kiehl's um, avocado cream which is also really good and really hydrating I've just run out of that hence why I'm using this one but this is cucumber in it so it's super cooling as well it really relaxes me when I'm like putting creams and things on my eyes it feels like so smooth soothing done well we're not done creams and oils are done no they're not I'm telling a lie final step is my new moisturizer that I've been using for about two months now I think yeah so this is from super facialist and it is a hyaluronic acid firming day cream and I blooming love it it's a dream it smells amazing feels amazing sits so lovely underneath um, your makeup and I've nearly used it all so I'm feeling very sad but this one I'm gonna team with the super facialist vitamin C because hyaluronic acid and vitamin c go really well together and they're super good for your skin super hydrating so i'm gonna mix those two put two to three drops in here and then mix it rub it all in and it may seem like i've put loads on but they all work really well together so you don't get like that horrible build up like you would do with some products that don't sit well together which i have had issues of in the past I've put things and it's caused like loads of like this horrible like creamy mush on my face and I'm like oh they don't go together but I've sussed it now a lot of trial and error and some advice of course that is my routine done so now I'm going to show you my makeup routine in the bedroom because that's where I get the best light and stuff so yeah I will see you there Hi loves, so my camera decided to die whilst I was filming me putting my concealer and foundation on so I'm refilming the next day but I've got the same outfit on. Just to clear up any confusion as to why I might look a little bit different. So yeah, I'm going to go through my base before obviously I show you the rest of the actual video. So this is the Hourglass Veil Primer which is unbelievable, I absolutely love this primer. So you only need like the smallest bit, this lasts you forever and it's got um, SPF in it as well which is great. So I literally just put it in the areas that I really need it most where I'm most likely to develop oil throughout the day. So I usually put it here on my nose, on my T-zone really and on my forehead. So there, that's my base ready for my concealer and foundation. So I'm gonna put my concealer on first. This is a Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in shade Chantilly. It is the lightest shade because I really like to use a really fair one under my eyes to kind of get rid of the purpleness that I have going on underneath. So you don't get that kind of like dryness around your eyes with this one. It's super creamy so it's super hydrating. I really love this one. So I just pop it under there like so. And I used to use a brush to blend it but I prefer using my fingers now like the heat from my fingers seems to make it blend really nicely. And then I also blend it on the lids because it makes a really nice base for my eyeshadow because it is so light it gets rid of like the purpley pinky 
undertones. And then my favourite foundation at the moment is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So this is in shade Santa Fe Medium 2. On my previous vlog, I did actually use the darker shade and because I didn't have tan on, I looked like an umplumber. So I've gone for the lighter shade. I use a couple pumps. I'm just going to put it on the lid of my primer. So I use one, two and I use this brush to blend it all in. I love this brush. It's an hourglass foundation brush and it's amazing. What I love about this foundation is although it's classed as like a medium to heavy, you can use like the smallest bit and it blends so nicely and it's really creamy. So it's great for, even if you have dry skin, I think it's great for all skin tones to be quite honest. I think this is like the perfect match for me now actually, even with tan on. One thing I would say is you have to be quite quick with it because it does dry quite quickly on your skin. I usually like to take my time as well. So I have to move quickly. Get in those creases. And there we go, I've got my base done. So I'll switch back to my original videos from yesterday and carry on with the rest. Right, next I'm gonna do my blush first, I think. No, bronzer. I'm gonna do my bronzer. So I'm going to use my Hourglass Bronzer, which is in shade Nude Bronze Light. I actually got this um, for my wedding, and which hasn't happened yet. <laughs> so hence why I'm using it. It's super light, so it's really buildable. Sorry, I can't talk when I do the fish face. I usually put some here as well where the sun would naturally hit and under the jawline just gives like a real subtle glow and then I will go in with my new favorite blusher so this is from Stila and it's in shade sheer peony and it is a little like blush stick like this it is stunning you can use it as lipstick as well just dab it now it looks very pink now but you blend it out I like a little doll don't worry guys, <laughs> don't worry. We will blend it out. So this little brush is by Spectrum and it is the Disney collection. Of course it is, huge Disney fan. And then I just buff it out. I usually go inwards and outwards just to, to get like the whole area. I'm gonna use a tiny bit more just at the front on the apple. So there's my blush and bronzer. I think I'm gonna do, I need to do my highlight. So I use two highlighters. This one, which I need to be very careful with because my bronzer's broken, is my Charlotte Tilbury one, which is filthy. So I'm gonna use the other one today, which is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And you can see which is my favorite. This one, we love it. We love it, we love it, we love it. So the first time I actually used this, my friend did my makeup for me when we went to Disneyland and I was like, oh my God, I need that palette. I think I bought it that night because it was the highlight. It's just amazing. Anyway, you'll see. So this is called Summer. Look at that. Oh, so dreamy. And then I usually go up onto the brow as well. And the same on the other side. Oh, I love it. And then I usually pop some on the end of my nose. On my lip, Cupid's bow, and on my chin. Okay, stop faffing. What next? A tea break. I love this mug by the way, isn't it really cute? It's actually from Disneyland as well. I feel like I've promoted Disney a lot in this video, um, but I am a huge Disney fan. And this is a Mary Poppins mug. And look, the handles, the umbrella. How cute is that? Lee went mad at me for buying this because I think it was like the equivalent to like 20 quid or 30 quid buying it from Disney, but then in the Disney store it's like a tenner. So I got another one. <laughs> Anyway, enough of Disney, let's crack on. Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, my favourite palette in the world. The colours are just, oh my god, they're just so beautiful. Like, look at that. You can tell what my favourites are. I am going to start with 
tempera, 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 yes, this little one here, as the base. So I'm going to use this brush from MAC. This is what I do every day usually. If I'm shooting or if I'm going out with the girls or something, this is the kind of look I would do. I'm quite boring with my makeup really. I don't really change much up because I really love like the warm tones. So for summer, I would go more like orangey and then for winter, I'd go more like rust. I just think when you've got blue eyes, they just um, pop with those colours really well. And then if I'm feeling a bit daring, I'll go pink sometimes, but usually I just stick to like the neutrals. And then I'm gonna go in with orange soda. Ooh, eyelash, make a wish. <sighs> Tell you that if it comes true. I really love all the Anastasia palettes. They're just beautiful colours. And then I'm gonna use another brush again Disney Spectrum and I'm gonna go in with the burnt orange just to add a little bit of a darker tone to the end of my eyelid and then I'm gonna blend it all with this brush here which is part of my Naked Collection palette and just blend it all together now I need to do the underneath of my eyes as well just to add a little bit more colour so I'm going to use the Morphe N, oh I, mean, I can hardly read that, so I'll link it below when I find it. So I'm just going to go in with the orange soda again. And then I'm going to go in with the burnt orange. Right, I think that'll do. I'm going to go in with a slightly darker shade now, I think I'm going to go with rustic. So this one here, which is slightly warmer, and I go in with this little brush here, which again is MAC 553 SES. I think this is mainly for your eyebrows, but I like to go in with this and kind of line the top of my lash line with a slightly darker shade rather than using eyeliner because I find it quite harsh sometimes. So I like to stick with like the brown tones and just tap it along there. You know, it just makes them pop a bit more without being too heavy. Sometimes I do put it underneath, but today I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna leave it on top. Next up is my favorite mascara in the world. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, and I'm obsessed with this. I'll show you the before and after, it's unreal. I've got a story about this actually. So during lockdown, we actually went on a Zoom call with Marc Jacobs and Sarah Tano. I was literally sat there in my pyjamas with a glass of wine, like, what is life now? We're in a pandemic and I'm on a Zoom call with hundreds of other people watching Sarah Tano and Matt Jacobs. Mental. Anyway, it was bloody amazing. I learned so much and I was so inspired by him. And he actually said that his inspiration for the Velvet Noir mascara was that his mum, when she was younger, she used to get the shavings from a velvet ribbon and take the shavings off carefully and mix it with the mascara to make the lashes really thick. How amazing is that? Hence why he created this formula, which gives you the most amazing lashes. So yeah, a little story behind that, which I just love. I'm gonna show you now. I always do this, lift my lash slightly. I do have naturally long lashes anyway, but this just gives Insane volume that lasts all day. I blooming love it. So you can see there, like the thickness of that, but it just adds this amazing lift to it. And I'll do the bottom as well. The difference is mental, it just opens up my eye so much. Um, so, yeah, I really, really love this mascara and I love the story behind it as well. I just think that's amazing that he was inspired by his mum and his mum being so creative, really. Makes me love a product even more when you know, like, the backstory of how things were made and the inspiration behind it. Next is brows. So, they're looking a little bit flat right now. And as you will have seen on my other vlogs, if you've not seen, then you'll see this for the first time but I like to make my brows big and bushy so I use a spoolie 
I've just put it in some water just to make it a bit damp and I use this pear soap which is like a tiny bit left of it it's lasted me months to be fair and I just pop it in there like that and get it all over the spoolie and then get off some of the excess so you don't get really soapy brows and then I just go through like this and brush up because I like I said before plucked the hell out of my brows when I was younger so I'm so thankful that they've grown back but they're still like I mean look at the difference just doing that I first um, learned about this on a shoot actually and the girl who did my makeup taught me how to do this and I was like oh my gosh I've been spending money on brow gels when I could have just used a 90p soap so I've never looked back ever since and it lasts you. Living proof. I'm gonna fill them in now. Dip brow pomade. So this is in medium brown. And again, I just put some water on the brush and I mix it in here. I'm just gonna fill in the ends like so. I remember the first time I used this product when I was a bit younger and I didn't appreciate how expensive and precious makeup was. I was like, oh I really want this dip brow pomade, let's go and buy that. And then I used like the actual pomade, like thick amounts of my eyebrows. Oh, it looked horrendous. And then I'll do the other one. This one's actually worked a lot better than that one. All with the way. I think they're even. I'm gonna go with it that they're even. The sisters today, not twins. I honestly take forever to do my brows because I just faff. <laughs> and we're done. So, one last thing is my lipstick. A brand called Paul and Joe, and they have the most beautiful packaging. Look at that. Nudie rose colour. So gorge. And then I use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Top. My go to for all my nudie lipsticks. So, yeah. I'm just going to apply it now, so I would either use Pillow Talk or this one, but I want something a little creamier today. Lovely job! Okay, so finally, last step is my translucent powder. So this is Veil by Hourglass. It is fantastic. I love it. Honestly love it. Makeup doesn't move when I use this, so yeah, so what I do, I usually, I should have done that first, I go like this. Get all the powder out into this little section here, so then you can just dab your brush in there. Or if you want a little bit more, you can get it from there. So yes, I'm just going to do that. And brush it over my face. It's such a dreamy powder and it, the thing is it looks matte when you first put it on but then your skin doesn't feel super dry throughout the day but your makeup just stays flawless. That is my everyday makeup so now I need to go into my hair. So my hairstyle has not changed over like the past few years. I always wave it um, with my Babyliss curling wand. Left my brush over there. Let me go and get my brush. This is what we're working with. I did actually wave it yesterday. Hence why it's still a bit wavy today. I have recently had my hair done, but I didn't go like full head of highlights like I usually do. I've just had a few in and I'm kind of feeling it, you know. It's looking a lot more like natural and it means I don't have to get it done every six blooming weeks which cost me a fortune. Anyway, I'm gonna do three sections like I usually do. I might actually do two today because my hair is pretty wavy. I'm gonna do two. This is my savior, this Invisi Bobbles, I love them. They don't add kinks to your hair either, which is really, really good. So yeah, I do prep my um, hair with this after I've washed it. So this is the Kerastar Seekaplasm and it is amazing. I use it every time I wash my hair. I 
probably bored you to death about this product plenty of times before but if you're first time on my channel watching this video then I do love this product so much I swear by it this is like my third bottle I think so yeah I've already put heat protection on we're good to go I literally just grab like about this much quite a big chunk and wrap it around the top like that and just adding that volume back in I mean I probably don't need to be as neat today because it is already wavy but I've used this um wand for years now it's like 20 quid off amazon and i really love it like i've had other ones that recommended to me and i just think well why change now i don't like change anyway so hence why i've been an emotional wreck during lockdown <laughs> it's been crazy so if you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching it our wedding was postponed we were supposed to get married in March and yeah, it was literally just before lockdown as well. So we've postponed it to October. So fingers crossed it goes ahead. Who bloody knows anymore? And then on the top layer. I try not to curl my hair every day because I know it does really damage it so my other hairstyle has been um literally putting it up in like a claw clip you know from the 90s i love them my mum used to have loads when i we when i was younger and i used to always steal them and play with them um so now they've come back i'm so happy because they're just so easy to use as well and just when you're like working from home or you just can't be bothered to do your hair even like when you're going out if you just literally shove your hair back put loads of jewelry on you're good to go I do actually have um, like a start to finish video on my channel of how I do how I curl my hair. So if you want to see it from like straight to wavy, then I'll um, I'll link it below as well, so you can see and all the products that I use. That's me done. So I literally just like run my fingers through it, make it a bit messy and then to finish i use either where's they gone so this one is the percy and reed wonder balm which is amazing i really really like this and it's not greasy at all or my new one which is by a brand called shampoo and it is a dry hair oil which makes your hair really super shiny so i think i'm going to use this one today because it smells oh it smells divine so you use one to two drops i think i'll just use one because my hair is quite short and I just put it into the ends. It just makes the curls more defined as well. So it just looks a, that little bit more sleek. And then what I might do, because I've got a few flyaways on top, is add a little bit of Percy and Reed Wonder Balm. So I literally like that much. And then rub it in. And then you can just tease it on top. And there we go. That's how I wave slash curl my hair. So, final bits, jewellery. I've got these beautiful earrings from Astrid and Mew, which have this beautiful twist hoop and this gorgeous like pearl drop earring. These are so nice. They've got a matching necklace as well, which I'm gonna wear today, because I feel like it'll look cute with this little outfit. So yeah, that's the necklace. I love Astrid and Mew stuff. Their new collection is stunning as well. They brought out um, a vintage range and their stuff is just oh, gorgeous. I love it all. And then I'll pop my necklace on. The great thing about this necklace as well is you can wear it any length because the holes in the chain fit to the clasp. So it's really, really good really. You can have it any length you want. Cute and my rings so this one is from under the stories and this one is from daisy it's got shells in it it's really cute i love this one and this one is from olivia burton and it's got like multicolored. so gorgeous so i layer that one on top because this one's a little bit big for me so then it looks really cute layered on top of each other i love this watch i've had it for ages this is my olivia burton gold watch 
I have like the smallest wrist in the world, so I'm so thankful for adjustable straps. Cute. I might add some more earrings in actually. Because I've got these this little set from Olivia Burton. It's like the shell set. How beautiful is that? Wow. Oh, you know when you've not worn them for a while. Ow, there we go. And then I think I might have a pearl in this one. I'm gonna stand here because I feel like you can see my makeup a lot better. So there we go, got my earrings in, my rings on, the watch, and then this side, I've got the little pearl in, and my other rings. So yeah, beautiful day, but I will see you later for my nighttime skincare routine when I take all of this off. See you later. Hi loves, it is night time now, and I'm going to do my nighttime routine. In the evening I double cleanse because I need to take my makeup off and then give my skin a second cleanse before I do anything else. So I'm going to use the Super Facialist Vitamin C Brighten Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. This is really good for dissolving your makeup and kind of getting it all off before you use another cleanser. With this one you do actually put it on to dry skin first and you obviously wet it to build up like a lather. So I use about this much. So as you can see, now it's wet, it's kind of building up uh, a lather. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm just going to take my eye makeup off because it gets everywhere. And this one I'm using at the minute is the Mina Eye and Lips Makeup Remover, which I've nearly run out of now, but it's been great really. I really like this brand. It comes off nice and easy and it's not like too greasy. Like sometimes I find some um, eye makeup removers can be like super greasy. So I'm going to use an exfoliating cleanser now because I like to give my skin kind of a deep scrub before I go to sleep. This is the Espar Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser 3 in 1. So you can use this as an exfoliator or a mask. So the formula is like this, so it's got little jojoba beads in it. Honestly, after I use this, I feel like I've had a facial. It leaves your skin feeling so soft. And now I'm ready for my toner. So I'm gonna use the same one as I used this morning. This is the glycolic acid, which I rave about a lot. So I'm just gonna sweep it across my face. Next onto my oils and creams. So I'm going to use the Super Peptide Serum and this is just great for fine lines, wrinkles and dullness so you'll wake up feeling glowy hopefully. So I use two pumps of that. After that one, my niacinamide again. And then for the evening, I just usually use the eye cream, so the Omoravix eye cream. And I just put it under here and on top as well. I was always told when I had my facial to push the blood towards your temples. So if you didn't know that, you do now. Finally, I'm going to use my Overnight Skin Recovery Cream, which is by Super Facialist. And I'm really loving the Super Facialist products at the moment. I've been using a lot of them. They've been really, really good on my skin. I've not broke out using anything yet. I think what I'll do for my next Beauty Empties video, I'll probably cover um, Super Facialist because I've nearly used everything. All done and ready for sleepy time. I hope you enjoyed the videos today. I've actually really enjoyed filming them. If you've got any questions, just comment below or drop me a DM as always. My DMs on Instagram are open. So yeah, take care guys, I'll see you soon.